Today at Level Up, we're gonna talk about buttons. Yes, buttons. And why this smartphone here show me that the future may be different than I previously thought. Prepare yourself. It's, it's time, time to see who is the, the fastest, fastest trigger in the West. West. I hope you learn and enjoy with this video, just like many others I have here in the channel. Just click on that link right over the clouds. Buttons, so simple and so complicated at the same time. I know you're thinking, come on, it's simple. Just press the button. Have you ever paid attention? How much things are happening when you press a button? Your finger rests on the button, but it has enough force resistance to not trigger the action if you are just resting your finger on it. At any given moment, you feel it's time to push the button. The force resistance should be the right one to let you do it freely and rapidly. But at the same time, to make the path smooth until you reach the button where you should feel a tactile feedback and listen to a click. The internal mechanics. The same that somehow give enough resistance to let your finger rest on it without trigger the action now needs to have the pushback force strong enough to keep in touch with your finger and be ready to do it again multiple times. The travel distance from the resting position to the bottom of the button journey is also important to be responsive and predictable during the gameplay. At any given moment, you feel it's time to push the button. The force resistance should be the right one to let you do it freely and rapidly, but at the same time, to make the path smooth until you reach the bottom where you should feel a tactile feedback and listen to a click. The internal mechanic, the same that somehow give enough resistance to let your finger rest on it without trigger the action, now needs to have the pushback force strong enough to keep in touch with your finger and be ready to do it again multiple times. Check. It goes with my finger. And go back. The travel distance from the rest position to the bottom of the button journey is also important to be responsive and predictable during the gameplay. And that's not all. The sound feedback of the clicking also play a major role in your experience. Have you ever noticed that when you press a button? Okay, just bear in mind I'm talking about a good quality controller. It makes a sound when reach the bottom of the travel. And when it come back, it makes another sound. Those sounds, they are different from each other and they give you a good confirmation signal that the travel has reached the end on the way in and the way out. All those factors, when working together and in the right settings, creates an incredible feeling of success when you press a button and everything works just fine. So incredible that if it does not work, just as you expected, you may hit it right away. But when it comes to smartphones, buttons are not so easy to be integrated in such a device. That's when digital or virtual buttons comes in. Would they be the future? Would they change the industry? And why buttons matters to you? Okay, when you are playing, you just want to feel good, right? That's what you want. And controllers give you that right sensation. You know why? Because they behave like you expected. This good feeling is something that companies like Nintendo and Sony have learned along many, many years of doing a lot of research. And for sure, because they're creating tons of video game consoles along these years and get feedback from users worldwide. Yeah, they are doing a pretty good job. So far, the analog controllers is still the best option on the market. And in my opinion, this bad boy here, the 8B Doe SF30 Pro gamepad, in my very humble opinion, it's just the best in the market. Being able to connect to Bluetooth, USB Type C cable, and compatible with Windows PCs, Mac OS, and Android devices. Nintendo Switch, you name it. This controller has everything right, and I sure recommend if you are a retro gamer just like me. 
but there is a new trend rising, a trend that is being driven not by the, you know, video game consoles. This time, it's a new revolution, and it's happening right out of your pocket. I'm talking about virtual controllers or digital only buttons in your smartphone. Mobile gaming is becoming more and more popular. Actually, there is way more money, downloads, players, and any number you can quantify on smartphone gaming than in any other segment of the industry. So I don't want to talk too much just to explain to you that designing analog buttons on a smartphone may compromise the smartphone design and even durability since it's a very complex piece of hardware. And engineers of different areas, they fight each other for more space inside smartphones. They want to improve the sound, so they need bigger speakers. They want better heat dissipation, so they need bigger dissipation heaters. <laughs> They want bigger battery size, so they need bigger batteries. They want a better Wi-Fi, 4G, 5G, and Bluetooth antennas, so they need more space for antennas. Imagine including analog physical buttons in a smartphone. Analog to work well, they need all those factors I mentioned before, remember? Creating a big problem in terms of internal space when it comes to availability inside a smartphone new design. The most common option available are the buttons on the screen, but they are far to be the best optional solution for gaming, being just a portable, always available option. But using the screen as a controller is far from a comfortable gameplay and limit you to use only your thumbs. Also, the screen touch response rate should be super fast, and you cannot rest your finger on the screen and push it with good feedback, just like controllers have it. Not on the screen, though. But what if you could have a virtual button that emulates the senses of an analog button? Something that gives you that feeling of pressing a button just with a push. Some kind of magic that would not compromise your smartphone design at all, or even the internal parts inside. Something that would change your mobile gaming like never done before. Yes, this magical thing exists and change my perception where the virtual buttons are going and how they can change your game. You probably know already that ROG Phone 2 is my daily driver. And also you should know that I am employee of ASUS. I still remember when the R&D team shows me what they create, how skeptical I was about where it should go, and how this could evolve from one generation of a product to another. What they show me was the usage of hypersonic butters under the phone chassis. And to be honest, in the day they show me this technology on the first generation, I doubt that it could do so good as it's doing today. Well, at ASUS, we name it Air Triggers, and on ROG Phone 2, you can rest your fingers on it and push just like an analog controller, gaining those precious milliseconds of your finger traveling on the air. Also, the haptic feedback is so good, I feel it very close of an analog feedback. Why? <laughs> because they are precise, fast, and in the right intensity, and the position inside the phone is the right position. They free my screen and gives me two additional buttons that I can map on the screen in any game, making it ultra compatible. But one thing that you have to have in mind is that you can have a glimpse of the future when you start to realize how much flexibility a virtual button like that enables you. You can adjust the pressure level, how the sensitivity it is to the touch. You have the option to have the resting finger position or not, or just don't have them working at all. If I want to change this kind of sets in an analog controller, this is impossible because they are all preset and cannot be changed since this is the nature of the analog controllers. The future for smartphones, for sure, are the virtual buttons. They are not intrusive, are getting better and better, and can be configured in any way you want. And by the way, ASUS will launch the ROG Phone 3 next week, on July 22nd. And I can't wait to show you what are the new features of air triggers on the new generation of ROG Phone. I'm pretty sure it's going to be freaking amazing! Did you level up your knowledge with this video? 
I hope you hit right in the bullseye. Keep tuned for more videos here on the Gamer Changer. See you soon, folks.